My dad always told us like to to use basketball and don't let basketball use you. Like to always like um, whether that's building who you want to be, what you want to get into, like the connections you make through basketball, use them. I don't really think she had any any bad habits that I had to fight her out of. I mean, she always went hard. She always tried to accomplish something when she took the floor. I think the challenge for her was just getting her to understand that she could play the game because she just was not interested at all. When I finally gave up, that's when she said, Dad, I want to play. And I get, once she got a taste of it and, and it became a challenge for her, then that's when she accepted the challenge and she just went all the way with it. You walk in the gym, you see her. See how big her plaque is. First team all county, player of the year, number one ranked player in the nation. She had 2,315 points. Um, she wasn't getting recruited by all the other big players, so she had to go through that to see if this was what she really wanted. She still wanted to go to North Carolina, and she realized that Tennessee was a better fit. I started at Tennessee and, um, you know, freshman year is kind of crazy. Everybody just young and, I ain't gonna say dumb, but young and reckless, I guess. Um, yeah, so freshman year was cool. I learned a lot. Um, the coaching staff kind of changed, the players changed, and then that's when I ended up South, South Carolina. Dawn, um, shout out to her, she's a great person. Dawn really just stressed like the relationships you make, so that was just a huge thing and I learned a lot from her. And I ended up at Baylor and Baylor was like, Best year basketball wise, but all three schools, great schools. Like I have nothing bad to say about none of them or the experience. Like whether the basketball went good or not, I had a great time at all three schools. <laughs> Everybody be like, I went on a college tour. But no, I really did and I actually like everybody experience is different. Yes, everybody wants to go to one one school for four years, but going to all three of them schools, the relationships that I did make from like boosters to like everybody involved into the school is like crazy. I was one of the top 10 players, so I was invited to the draft, so I did the little ESPN thing. And then I went second round to Phoenix. So uh -huh. When they was doing the pay cuts, I was still on the team. Uh -huh. And then some time went by, and Phoenix didn't have enough for that many players, so then they had to do a pay cut. And that's when I found out I was getting waived. I didn't know if overseas was an option because of Corona. Um, I didn't know, I didn't know nothing. All I knew was yeah. I could be in the gym, yeah. I'm healthy, I can still play. If the opportunity presents itself, I'm gonna be ready. That's the only thing I knew. It is happening after a months long timeout for so many sports, basketball is almost back. Fans are ready, players are ready, but as the teams head to the bubble in Orlando, the league's commissioner is concerned there will be more players testing positive for COVID. So in between them weeks of me okay. waiting on the call, I've seen people opting out. Yeah. A lot of people didn't want to go. Yeah. I'm like, shoot, I'm going <laughs> to the bubble. If I get the opportunity, so I'm going. But, you know, I respect everybody that opted out, but, um, yeah, a lot of people was doing it. It was a lot of, everybody was just moving. So I was like, oh shoot, okay. might get an opportunity. And then the Sparks call. Authentic or nothing. Stiff on me, bitch. <laughs> you know, once Christy opted out and we were quickly kind of turned the page to to Taya and, and you know we're fortunate to, to have her um, in terms of her growth I think she's she's having to learn so much on the fly uh, for a rookie guard it's, it's the game is just going lightning fast and I think she's continuing to try and find how she can best impact the team each night which is different and that's hard to do for, for a young player at, at the point guard position. So Taya, some of that is natural. She used to play with like lip gloss and a sock, you know, chapstick and a sock. Like from timeouts, she glossing up a lip, she doing her hair. I'm like, Taya, pay attention. She like, okay, like wow. doing her hair, you know, wow. brushing her hair, timeouts, like she Dope always wanted to play basketball, but she know I just thing where she like, you know, you know, keep it cute ladies. Vivica Fox, Fox. hair collection. Oh my gosh, we, we are trying to promo. <laughs> I just really wanted to thank the fans, the ownership, the front office, my coaches, 
and my teammates for believing in me last year during a tough time. Um, I got the chance to work with uh, a fellow point guard and coach Fisher, great players like Candice, Chelsea, Neca, Simone, and they really believed in me and made my experience in the bubble one to remember. adventurous and really just somebody who just want to enjoy life and you know help other people. 